guys! This is my next LP, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Alright, let's do it. Let's go as Sonic only. Sega. What? Did I press the wrong button? Sega! Oh, this is a great start. I don't even know what I'm doing. I gotta press the start button, not the B button. So Tails is flying on the rocket plane. Sonic's going super. He's got a little rooster tail following behind him. And... Oh, you jackass! Knuckles, you jackass. Alright. So, let's do this. Let's see if we can... Whoa. Get some of these emeralds back post haste. I'm right, just going to this one for right now. So yeah, in this thing, this is uh, you know, one of the bonus things, emerald collection stages, and the goal is to collect all of the blue spheres. And now one thing you'll notice. Well, okay, get these ones. But if you have a big collection like this, if you... Oh yeah, yeah, so... The way this works is you touch a blue sphere, it'll turn into a red sphere. But what happens is... Or not what happens, but... You can't have blue spheres surrounded by red spheres. So if you touch all the ones on the outside and turn them into red spheres, then that'll turn all of them, including the ones in the inside, into rings. I'm having trouble talking and doing this at the same time. This isn't even hard, but... Okay, well, there it goes. That's one emerald back already. And the per- yeah, the perfect means that, you know, I got out of your- you know, got all the rings in the level. You know, it was kind of premature of them to call it, you know, perfect for just getting the rings when I hadn't even finished it yet. But hey, you know, I still finish I still finished it and got all the rings and all that, so Alright, I'm happy. That's a good start. I'm twenty seconds in. Well, I mean by the game clock. And I already have one emerald back. Oh alright, fine, I won't go that way. Yeah, this is not a speed run by any stretch of the imagination. It's more of a I wanna have fun playing this game run. Alright, push this rock out of the way. Get a move on. Alright. Boom. Boom. I like the invincibility music. Alright, come on. That's a firestorm. Oh, and my invincibility instantly happened to go away. Alright, right now, I'm gonna do the bonus stage. Well, you know, A, to show them off to anyone who's not yet played the game. Ooh, a 1-up. Nice! Ring. Nice. Boing. Honk. Ah, what did I miss? Oh, just a bubble, alright. Honk! Uh... Is there anything else I can do here? Honk! So, I mean, after I, you know, get through and show what all the bonus stages are, I'll probably, you know, leave them out of the actual LP most of the time. Cause it's kinda tedious to watch all the bonus stages. You know, unless I do something amazing or, you know, make some awesome commentary somehow. Alright, so here's another... Here's another stage of getting an emerald. And we'll show Knuckles who's boss. Thinks he can take an emerald from me, does he? And here I am sounding all surly and I'm trying to, I'm actually happy playing this game and doing an LP of it. Ah, whatever. Was I going this way? 
Oh, I just came from there. I'm... Uh. Well, you know, on this thing, the, you know, talking while doing it is actually hurting my performance somehow. Yeah, but whatever. You know, this one... You know, I, you know, I mean, yeah, this part, you know, takes a little bit of work, but... You know, this requires a lot less concentration than Mega Marty, so... I'm, you know, I'm not gonna be too stressed out over that. Yeah, that's the other LP I've got going right now. You know, I decided to try doing two at once. Ah, uh, this thing's going fast now. But I've seen faster. I've seen faster. I don't want to touch you guys yet. Oh, that sounded dirty. Because I want to get the perfect. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. And, you know, my little brother and I, when we played this, we had nicknames for the stages. Like, I think we nicknamed this one the Mint Stage, because it's green. You know, like a mint. Alright, now I can turn around and go get the other things. So you got the perfect there. Because right now these... Uh, where the heck are they? Dude, I'm lost. Ah, oh, this is embarrassing. Eh, embarrassing, 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 embarrassing. Alrighty, come on. There they are. Yeah, my little brother and I played this together a lot when we were little kids. Yeah! Got the orangish, yellowish emerald. Awesome! Come on, tally up my points. Boom, 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 boom. And another continue. I don't think I'm going to be using those, but it's the thought that counts. Yeah, the... with this thing... Alright. A little fire shield. Let's me do a nice little... charge boost thing. You know what? I'm gonna go... Ah, uh, I wanted to go up there. Come on, let me up. Let me up. I wanted the lightning instead. You know, I guess the fire is more useful for this next boss, but... If I don't get hit, it doesn't matter. So where the fire, you did a little charge. Lightning, you can do a double jump. Oh, there's more fire. And with the lightning, you can, atta you can attract rings and pick them up like that. So I think overall, the lightning is my favorite of the bonuses. The other one that I haven't gotten yet through in this LP is the water one. It lets you breathe underwater and bounce like a basketball. Alright. Alright, yeah, that's the icon for it. Yeah, when you when you're in the air, and then you hit the jump command a second time, when that signpost is about to touch the ground, it'll trigger you getting a little bonus item like that. I probably could get it, because I'm, you know, the lightning isn't going to do me any good. Because I'm about to lose the lightning after I finish this anyway. So yeah, that last thing was, we called it the mint level, I think. And I'm pretty sure we called this one either the popcorn level or macaroni and cheese level, because... A, you know, kind of yellowish orange color. Yeah, it sounds retarded. I know. I I, I should just shut up. Stop while I'm ahead. Alrighty, going on. We're not going too quickly yet. Water, water, water. Yeah, this stage is really simple. It's just a bunch of four by four grids of those things connected by a series of two. Not a series of tubes. A series of two. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. God, that's a, yeah, that's gonna... Force of habit. Water, water. Here's a little... Four from there. So yeah, there's, you know, nothing really... Well, I mean, there's very little about this stage that's tricky. There's one part at the very end that you've got to know what you're doing, but... I mean, in order to get the perfect, otherwise it's easy. Yeah, so here's the thing. You want to jump over at least one of the... You want to jump over one of those. I think, I mean, going at this speed, you could probably jump over both of them. But you want to be able to get in here, get the rings, and then go back and pick up one of them. So, I'm probably going to cut the video right after this, since it seems like a convenient place to cut the video. And because, oh, mainly because I'm up to 10 minutes now, so... And I'm running out of time and I don't have room to 
get anywhere else and do or do anything of and do anything worth mentioning. So I'm gonna wait for this thing to finish up playing this little music, and then I will see you guys next time. All right, see you then.